have to be an artist to appreciate art, and there's plenty to appreciate right here at the St. Louis Artists Guild. We got Zach Pateau joining us right now, and uh, Saturday's a great opportunity for folks to come and appreciate some great art. Absolutely. Saturday, we'll have Saturday Studio Showcase from 2 to 4, where the public can come out and witness some artists on display showcasing their artwork in a variety of formats. Which is very, very cool, as well as the Young Artist Showcase that's going to be going on all month long here. Yes, absolutely. The showcase will go till March 30th, featuring 15 to 19 year old high school students doing painting, drawing, uh, printmaking, ceramics, fiber art, you name it. It's there. It, it is there. Celeste, join us right now. Social artist, you're wearing one of your students' pieces of Absolutely. work. Absolutely. I love it. So Charlie made this for me. She's one of our students at Sumner, and I gave her the idea, and she just came along with it. Like so, one day later. A couple days later, but yeah. she did it. I'm proud of her. So, like, this is something I try to encourage. You know, when I see kids do great work, you know, I'm going to keep, you know, encouraging you to do that. You know, she is phenomenal, and this is one of her pieces. So, had to showcase it. You got to showcase it. <laughs> we, we love showcasing. Yes. Uh, we got Marin over here doing fine art. And uh, what is it about art? What does art do for you? So for me, art is my way to see the world and to give back to it. So what I see in my travels, on vacations, or just walking around the Botanical Garden, um, I find inspiration of nature and people and just beautiful things that I want to keep for myself and share with the world. I love that. I love that. Great artworks here. And Kat, you were talking earlier, you illustrated a children's book. What's it like to be, to have the opportunity to be able to put those words into pictures? Um, so it's so much fun. Um, the book I illustrated was The Grandmother Effect, so I got to draw from different experiences I had and translate it into different moments with grandmothers. Um, some of these over here, all from that book. Um, otherwise, similar to uh, Marin, I, I like to um, take inspiration from things that I'm learning about, things that I like that are interesting, and art is a way to appreciate those things. So true, so true. And then we got another thing going on here. Washington Elementary School, they're up to something. Take a look. We are with Brittany Smotherman Lindsay, who's a sixth grade art teacher over at Washington. And uh, they had a, a, a mission. They had to celebrate 50 years of hip hop and art. Yes, so we change up the theme almost every year. And so this year we chose 50 years of hip hop and it continues. So with that, we have different artists that you might have on your playlist, different artists you might recognize and they got a chance to do some pop art portraitures, portraits. They really got into this project. Yes, sir. So they got a chance to play around with some different techniques that actual working artists use. We use carbon paper to do the process and start the portrait. And the student had a chance to choose what medium they wanted to use, colored pencils, crayons, or paint as well. I love it. You can see them on display right here in the St. Louis Artist Guild. You also see the Young Artists Showcase. These are students from 15 to 19 at high schools within a 150 mile radius. And then there'll be other artists here on Saturday that are showcasing their skills too. So you get a great day Saturday to come out and check out what's going on right here at the St. Louis Artist Guild and celebrate 50 years of hop, hip hop with Washington Elementary. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You bet. Keep it here, we got more coming your way. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.